What is up everybody, welcome to this new video. Let's take a look how we can withdraw our money from Coinbase wallet into our bank account. So first of all guys, it's really important that you have your Coinbase account already been created. If you don't have that enabled, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. It will be just really, really easy to have the Coinbase wallet. So once you have this available into your phone or as an extension uh, into your computer, as I am actually doing right now, what I want to do is to open that. So if I go into the download section, whether that will be from an iOS, an Android, or from my Chrome. In my case, that will be, of course, from Chrome. So I clicked in here. And it will be sending me into the Chrome Web Store where I need to add this into my website, into my actual browser. And as you can see, it's now available in here. So really, really simple. So what I need to do, if you don't have a Coinbase wallet, what you need to do, of course, is to sign up. It's really, really easy. You need to provide an email as well as your phone number. And once you make the verification process, which is actually just providing a code with each of those examples, you're now good to enter here the Coinbase wallet. So in my case, what I want to do here is to unlock this with a custom passcode. So I think that I just misspelled this. So in my case, what I need to do, of course, is to enable here. I'm going to pin this into the upper side. And here, as you can see, here is, of course, my Coinbase wallet. So uh, if I go here into my Coinbase, you might see that I don't have any money here. If you so to think that you have some money but you don't see that, you don't have to worry about that. Because uh, sometimes this is some... Uh, stuff that happens if you are using a current another network so what you want to do is to go into the settings section and here what you want to do is try to change to another uh, another section of your tokens in my case I am using the ethereum network so here are all my cryptos now if I want to send this money if I want to send this token directly to my bank account the first thing that I need to do is to convert this money into real money in order to receive that into my actual uh, wallet here. So first of all, there's two ways that we can do this. If you are a resident from United States, there's actually an option that you can actually uh, try to enable. And this one is called the currency cryptocurrencies from the PayPal. So what you just need to do is to whether you just need to create an account or just sign up in PayPal. And then what you want to do is to actually enable this so you can receive money, crypto currencies from whatever other wallet into your PayPal. And this money should be now sent. It. You can convert this money into real money inside PayPal. And PayPal, of course, is going to be sending your money right away into your bank account. So that's one way that you can do this. Now, in my case, I'm not going to be using that option because actually I'm from the Latin America and this is not enabled into my country unfortunately but there's other ways that you can do this so i'm going to close this first option only for the us uh expressions i'm going to go back here into my wallet and here what i want to do is to choose the coin that i want to send let's say for example that i want to send the dia stable coin into my bank account so you have to buy the swap the bridge sent and received so if i click the option it says send here what i need to do is to input the maximum amount hit into next and here what we can do what i need to do in order to make transactions is to have a little bit of ethereum in order for making transactions here so um this is one thing that we can do into our actual wallet so if you don't have enough money i think that there's another solution to do that if you don't want to send your money directly from coinbase there's another option that you can do but i believe that it might be taking a few steps in my case i think i'd rather do that because i don't think i have here the enough transaction of ethereum to actually pay for that and what's that if i just need a few of ethereum i need to go back in here and i need to hit into the buy option so if I go into the Coinbase Pay, what's going to be happening here is that there's one issue that it might be happening for you guys as well as me. What I can do in here is just to buy whatever token I want to do and I can send this money directly into my Coinbase. But I think that I found another option that can be a little bit more affordable and easier for you to do that. And for that, what you need to do is to try to find a wallet that is available into your country in order to 
uh, gain, and let's say just to afford to save a little bit of money. And for that, in my case, I'm using Bitso. Now, Bitso is an application, it's a Coinbase, it's an actual wallet. Speaking about the cryptocurrency, it's a crypto wallet that can be helping me to send money into my actual bank account. So what I need to do here is just to first of all sign in. So once I sign in, what I want to do is to select the currency, the crypto that I want to send into my wallet. So I'm just gonna sign in real quick. I'm gonna hit that I'm not Robert. Hit into locked in. So what I need to do is to sign into my Betso wallet. And here as you can see, I have just a few balance of MXN. This is the actual um, cryptos converted into the currency of my country. So first of all, I need to figure it out if the token that I want to receive is actually in here. For example, the DIA. So if I choose this option, I'm going to hit into deposit. So here is the Ethereum network. What I need to do is to actually select this option. So yes or yes, of course, we need to actually have a little bit of uh, Ethereum or depending on the actual place where you have to do your money. So what I want to do here is just to add a little bit of um, money here in order for paying for that. So I'm going to use input this code that actually it appears randomly through another application. So I'm going to get into verify. Uh, so I'm going to go back here into my asset. Here is the confirmation of my Ethereum. So I'm going to go back in here into my Coinbase wallet once again. I'm going to go back here. Here is my stable coin. I'm going to hit into send. I'm going to hit into the maximum amount. Hit into next. And here it says send it to. Um, I'm going to go back here into my actual uh, wallet from Betso. I want to choose DAI. Here it is. I'm going to hit deposit once again. I'm going to copy the Ethereum network, which is actually this one. I'm going to copy this address. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste the address. So here it is. I'm going to click this option. And as you can see, here's the wallet used. This is the network. This is the network fee. And this is the total cost. Now, this says may be required for the transaction. Please deposit a little bit more of Ethereum. So in my case or in your case, guys, what you need to do is to have a little bit more of money from Ethereum. Now, in my case, I deposit $2. So I think that it's actually not worthy for me to make this transaction because I am going to be losing a lot of money. But let's say if I have $50, $100, uh, it's going to be really, really worthy to have that amount of money for, for paying for the network fee. So, but I don't have to worry about that because I've already been making a transaction with another token. So once you hit into send, it's going to be something like this. So as an example here, I'm going to be showing you the token that I just received, which is the USD stable coins. So here's going to be appearing your money. You just need to hit into the option that says convert. So once you hit the option that says convert, I'm going to hit into don't show this much again, hit into accept. And I want to choose the stable coin the maximum amount and I want to send that into the currency that actually has my actual bank available which is actually the MXN and I'm going to hit into continue and I'm going to go into the X mark and as you can see here is my money so what I just need to do is to select here the currency of my bank choose send and as you can see, we do have the option down here to send this directly into your bank account or into any debit card BSP. So this is the way of how we can send our money directly into your bank account. What you want to do is to convert your tokens into a currency that can be available into your bank account. And then you can do that directly into your bank account. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this was a very useful video for you. This is the very end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more amazing tools about Betso, about Coinbase, Wallet, and so much more uh, tools. So thank you once again, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.